Some things may have been canceled due to COVID-19, but there are still ways to appreciate the beauty of Charlottesville, Virginia in the fall season. Let's get started. Hi, I'm Ashley Palmer and I'm a realtor with Town Realty in Charlottesville, Virginia, and we want to help you move smarter. You can learn more about us by visiting our website, townseville.com. For a complimentary consultation with me, click on the link in the comments. It's staycation season and we're hitting the road to bring you the best fall activities in the Charlottesville area. Carter's Mountain has some amazing views of Charlottesville and is a great spot to enjoy the fall days with your family and loved ones. They are requiring tickets during the weekends, but during the week you can come when you want. Kids under 10 are also free during the weekends. Come pick some apples, taste some cider, and eat some delicious donuts and bask in the bounty of Carter Mountain until November 8th. For a little local sightseeing, try the hop on tours. All tour buses are clean between tours and hand sanitizer is provided. They are asking that guests wear their masks while on the bus at all times. There is no minimum amount of people in your party so you can go with a friend or a group to see the sights. There are several tour options to choose from, but that includes stops like Blue Mountain Brewery, King Family Vineyards, Pro Reynada, Cardinal Point Winery, and many more. To view the different tour options, click on the link in the comments below. Ready for some popcorn? It's Virginia Film Festival time, and they have a great lineup for us. You can watch virtually or go to one of the drive-in theaters that are hosting showings. Festivals will begin on October 21st through October 25th. Rate your favorite films with friends after the show. Want some adventure? Try Liberty Mills Corn Maze. It's the largest corn maze in the country. Wind your way through the fields of corn, buy your pumpkins local at the pumpkin patch, eat some firefly on the fly at the food truck, or try the flashlight maze at night for an extra challenge. There are multiple hand sanitizing stations throughout the area. To enjoy the corn maze, please visit the website link to buy a ticket time. Time to relax at Eastwood Farm and Winery. They are hosting live music every Thursday from 4 to 8 p.m. Events are family friendly and dog friendly, so bring your loved ones. Take in the scenery, play some cornhole, or hike the trails. The new tasting room is being built, but that doesn't stop Eastwood from hosting events. They have a huge white tent for people to sit and relax. Want to get a little peachy? Try Child's Orchard. With a large outdoor space, market indoors, and fields of peaches, it's a great spot to slack and sip. And their peach ice cream is to die for. This is such a fun place to take any of your friends and family when they come to visit. Much like Carter's Mountain, tickets are required on the weekends, but not during the weekdays. For some exercise and fun, try hiking one of the many trails at either the Crozet Trails or Shenandoah Trails. There are hikes for beginners and experts in the Shenandoah National Park. Some are dog friendly and some are not, so do your research. Cell phones rarely work there, so plan ahead by downloading a map of the trail and making sure you have plenty of water. There is a fee to get into Shenandoah, but once you're in it, lasts for a week and now you can buy your pass online. Crozet Trail is a 501c organization, so your donations are tax deductible. They have a printable map online and several trails to choose from. Thanks for watching. All the links are in the comments below. I make new videos every week, so be sure to subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, drop it in the comments and I'll add it to my next video. Bye for now.